How Rob Kardashian Really Makes His Money Rob Kardashian isn't as controversial as his sister or mom, Kris Jenner. Nevertheless, things were sometimes different from this. In the first season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which aired in 2007, Kim Kardashian played a pivotal role by giving viewers behind-the-scenes looks at his life as a young adult, juggling college, modeling aspirations, and love, most notably his relationship with Adrian Ballone and subsequent breakup. Kardashian has very well left the reality show The World to his family following a spate of public struggles, including his failed courtship with Block China whose legal name is Angela White, a rumor of drug usage and body image concerns via the Daily Mail. His well-known sisters, in the meantime, have continued to build their fame and fortune by establishing themselves as major players in a wide variety of markets, such as the swimwear, shapewear, cosmetics, and tequila sectors, via 17. These choices have aided in accumulating their multi-million and billion-dollar fortunes, via Newsweek. While Kardashian doesn't appear to have his siblings' entrepreneurial spirit, he has nevertheless amassed a tidy fortune of $10 million as reported by Celebrity Net Worth. The question is, how did he accomplish it? Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss how Rob Kardashian really makes his money. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Rob Kardashian made big bank from reality television. The fact that Rob Kardashian has only appeared in a few episodes of the most recent seasons of his family's reality series has not hurt his financial situation. According to Celebrity Net Worth, a sizable portion of Kardashian's wealth came from his appearance fee for Keeping Up With The Kardashians and the several spin-offs of the original show. According to the website, Kardashian's earnings dropped to $50,000 each episode in the following seasons, even though at one point in time, he was making $1 million every season. And even though Kardashian films very infrequently these days, it's quite quite probable that he and his family earn royalties from the nearly continual rotation of their library of episodes on television and streaming platforms. In 2016, Kardashian attempted to launch his television program with the working title Rob in China. This was before he decided to quit the reality television industry. His connection with White was documented throughout the episode, which took place during her pregnancy. According to Variety, however, the decision to cancel the E! show after only one season was likely influenced by the scandal surrounding him and White regarding regarding revenge pornography. According to Radar Online, White was meant to be paid 92 grand for each episode for season two of the program that the Kardashian family was reportedly responsible for sabotaging. This information was included in a subsequent lawsuit that White filed against the Kardashian family. Because Kardashian is a more well-known celebrity, he was probably compensated equally, if not more so. At the trial, White also testified that she had banked $100,000 after the program was canceled, even though she had previously disputed that the money was paid for a kill price. It is reasonable to conclude that Kardashian gained financially from this transaction. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. Rob Kardashian dabbles in various sectors. Although Rob Kardashian likes to keep a low profile, he has nonetheless been involved in various enterprises, all of which have contributed to the accumulation of his wealth, as was documented in prior seasons of his family's reality series. Kardashian originally had a thriving sock company named Arthur George. The line which distributes entertaining, varied socks to its youthful customer base was called Arthur George. In an interview from 2014, Kardashian discussed the motivations for his choice to launch a line of socks. According to information provided to Vibe by Kardashian, Socks are simply the starting step of producing clothing and streetwear. It wasn't until around five or six years ago that socks became more of a fashion among people of a younger generation. Socks are a must for everyone. We have only been operating for about a year, so we're still a work in progress, but things are going well. We're expanding. According to Page Six, Kardashian reportedly had financial issues in 2018 when he unfortunately decided to sell half of his firm to his famous mother, Kris Jenner. Having said that, Kardashian is also involved in a few other businesses, one of which is Grand. Grandiza Hot Sauce, a brand he developed and launched with his mother in the year 2020. Yet, even though Kardashian didn't have much support from his sisters, as noted by Kardashian Dish, sales have been looking quite good thus far. The next year, Kardashian partnered with Exotic Pop to bring his flavor of ice cream soda to the market. Using his Instagram account, Kardashian said, My at Exotic Pop coming soon. They claim it's better than Canada Dry Vanilla Cream by a factor of two. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.